Hello you guys, so we are in the kitchen today and we're gonna show you how we make our very own oat milk. Yay. Um, so this is Tiffany's specialty, honestly. This is my specialty. I love oat milk and it's nice to be able to make something at home. The thing that you probably already have. So, to start, I have everything written down on my phone. So to start, you're gonna need um, a cup and a half of these quick oats. And you're going to need four cups of water, room temperature water. You're gonna need some vanilla for vanilla oat milk, maple for the vanilla and the chocolate oat milk. This is some freshly tapped maple syrup, Canadian maple syrup. It is, this, this is, is the most delicacy. Canadian you've ever seen. And then we have cocoa powder um, for the chocolate oat milk. And then we have our measuring spoons. So, Let's get started. So we have our cup and a half of oats. Oh, and you also need a food processor. So you can get them on Amazon. Yeah, this one was pretty affordable. It's kind of like leaky when you blend it, so this could be a whole mess. Um, but it was really affordable on Amazon, so that's what we did. And then we're gonna do four cups of room temperature water. I'm honestly just here for more <laughs> <laughs> You can help me when we're making like the flavors because we're gonna make chocolate and vanilla today. And then after that, you just wanna let the oats soak in the water for 15 minutes, just so that they're soft and they'll be easier to blend that way. So we'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay. So the oats have just soaked for, I feel like I'm saying oats and soaked. And <laughs> <laughs> it's so Canadian. Oats and <laughs> soaked. <laughs> Ooh, our Canadian accents are really <laughs> popping out. Um, so the oats have just soaked for 15 minutes and they're like kind of thick now. Um, so we're gonna put the lid on to the food processor and we're gonna blend it for like 45 seconds to a minute. I'm scared. So long. It's leaking a little. Yeah, it is. Leaking a little, it's leaking a lot. So it should be like super white now. Um, super milky. Super milky. And there shouldn't be like very many clumps. Yeah. So next, what you want to do is you want to take your bigger, um, like just something to hold your oat milk. And we're gonna strain. And it takes a little bit for it to... Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> And you can kind of like push the oats to just make sure you're getting the most amount of milk from them. You say milk and... <laughs> really? How do you say it? Milk. Milk. You say milk. Milk. After, you can kind of like make oatmeal and stuff with the... Yeah, and like overnight oats. I feel like I'm saying everything so funny. Um, so we're gonna save those so we're not wasting anything. This process takes like a few minutes, but it is worth it. Okay, so we just finished straining the rest of the oats. We have about three cups. So I like to strain everything again. Strain everything into this one. And now it's going a lot faster. Beautiful. And then we have the oats that we'll use for something else. So, we'll split this in half. So we're gonna do a cup and a half. Perfect. So we're gonna do chocolate and vanilla. Yes. Is this, can this one be vanilla? Sure, this one. Whatever you want. Maybe this one. Maybe so we're gonna whisk one tablespoon. You're shocked that you can open that? Yeah. One tablespoon of the fresh maple syrup, but you can use whatever you have. Oh my smells so, so good. good. So one tablespoon. And then a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. <laughs> I'm scared, I always get scared of vanilla. Extract. 
you never want to do too much. Um, oh, and then a pinch of salt. So I just kind of do like a salt shaker and just... Think that's good? Mm -hmm. And then you whisk that all together. And then for chocolate, you want to make a chocolate syrup. This smells so good. I know, it smells delicious. So it's going to be two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then two teaspoons of cocoa powder. And then it might be better to use a spoon with that. I see them do this at Starbucks all the time. Yeah. <laughs> They're like coffee beans. That's how they make your matcha. <laughs> That's funny. And then you want to do a large pinch of salt for the chocolate. Well, let's just like shake it for twice as long. <laughs> You want to make sure that it's like not powdery at all. It seems like it's never gonna not be powdery, but all of a sudden it turns into a syrup. So. Oh, oh! <laughs> I feel like you need a spoon. Yeah, probably. Starbucks, you liar! I think they have smaller whisks or like. Oh my god! See, <laughs> it's like magic. <laughs> it like all of a sudden switches. Is that crazy? This is such a hard workout. All right. Yeah, that's good. I think so too. So then wow. You want to add this into the oat milk. It tastes so good too. Mmm. Okay. There you have our chocolate and vanilla oat milk that we just made from home. Um, they'll keep in the fridge for a few days, um, and you can use them in your lattes. I use them in cereal, I use them in my oatmeal, I use them literally everything. Yeah. They're so, so good, pretty healthy, and you could customize them however you want. If you wanted like cinnamon or sweeter or however you want to do it. Yeah. Perfect. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank I you. hope that you liked this. If you try it, let us know what you think. Love you. <laughs>